Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I am a mess. I just had breakfast. And today is the day that I call spiritual day, which is when I do all, like most of my spiritual activities. I do my ancestor veneration. I do um, the connection with my guardian angel and spirit guides. And also I go for a bike ride at my local cemetery and my local woods. Those are the things that I do every week. And I thought it would be a good idea to share what my weekly practice looks like. So the first thing that I do is the energy cleansing and charging. And I do that through baths. I'm gonna show in another video how exactly I prepare those baths. But basically one of them is to clear my body energetically and the other one is to charge my body energetically. The energy cleanse I do every new moon and we are having a new moon this weekend. So I just had to do the energetic cleanse. But the herbal bath to charge my body energetically, that one I do every week regardless of the phase of the moon. And I actually find it to be very, very effective um, in the connection with uh, the spiritual realm. It is super useful. I am going to finish my tea, then I'm gonna take the bath, get ready, get my makeup on. So what's gonna happen next is that I'm gonna light my candles at my ancestor altar and for my spirit guides, I will meditate. And then after lunch, I'm gonna go for the bike ride at the cemetery in the woods. I just hope it's gonna be dry enough because it has been raining a little bit today. I'm also gonna show you guys what I put in my backpack, like how do I prepare to go on that bike ride. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm gonna go take my bath, light my candles, meditate, and those are parts that I'm not gonna necessarily show on camera because it's kind of personal and kind of, you know, having a camera recording me while doing that would definitely mess up with my concentration. So I'm not gonna show every single step of the way, but definitely I'm gonna go a little bit more, a little, a little bit. Let's get some spirit work done. Actually, it turns out that the baths that I have prepared are still too hot, so I will have to wait much longer until I can actually use them. So I decided to just go ahead and show you my backpack. Like, so this is my backpack, nothing too dramatic, nothing too special, just a regular black backpack. Inside of it, I will be taking a book. I am currently reading Spirit Work by Syrian Shadow. I plan on doing a video about spirit work and I will definitely talk a little bit more about this book in that video, so I'm not gonna say much about it right now. Other than that, I am taking my little pouch of coins because these are a must when going to a cemetery or a graveyard. This bag is super special to me because my grandma gave it to me when I was a kid, so next I'm gonna take an oracle deck I will be taking. I really like to use this one at the woods because I think the theme is simply like perfect. It's the Woodland Wardens deck. It is so beautiful. The illustrations are simply gorgeous. And a tarot deck. By the way, I made this bag, okay? I just wanted to point that out because I am very, very proud of my creation. And the deck that I like to use when I am out and about, I think in English it's called Ethereal Visions Tarot. I have the French version. In French it's called uh, Le Tarot de l'Illumination. 
I really like to sit down and draw some cards, ask some questions. And this is the deck that I like to do that with. Next, I like to take this thing, which is kind of like a beach towel. It is very big and yeah, nice to sit down on. And last but not least, I will be taking my embroidery that I have in progress right now. It's this little animal guy. If you look here, you will see all my thread for embroidery. So when I am out and about, I take this little container and I put the threads that I am using for the project, as well as a little pair of scissors. That's what I'm gonna have in my backpack for my spiritual uh, day biking event. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go back and check my bath if the temperature is already okay. And once I do my, my little altar thing and my meditations, when I am about to like go out this afternoon, I will come back and continue the video. So see you soon. The first thing that I prepare for my ancestor veneration is some fresh coffee. As a matter of fact, I give them a cup every single day. And then I prepare a food offering for my ancestors. As it is corn season over here, and I absolutely love corn cobs, I decided to cook some corn for them. And now I can finish preparing all the items to be placed on my altar with some cleansing and like setting intentions. And the last thing I do is to prepare the candle for the altar. I have been using some tea candles because I have many that I would like just to finish using. And all I do is place some ancestor oil in them. I have made this oil myself and maybe I could share the recipe here on the channel one of these days. But basically this oil has the purpose of bringing love, peace and calm to my ancestors. Then I add some extra rose petals and some extra lavender. Just be careful when you are burning candles with extra herbs on them, dried herbs that is, because that makes the candle burn super hard and the flame gets very tall. Next, I cleanse the candle with smoke and sound and then I place it on the palm of my hand and I dedicate it to my ancestors, the elevated ones who accompany me and care about me. It is very important to specify who this candle is for so it will not be attracting uninvited um, entities over. And if you have anybody specific in mind, do say their name, that this candle is for so and so, John Doe, this candle is for you. Okay, so everything has been done. I took my baths, one to cleanse, another one to charge my energies. I did everything I wanted to do, made offerings on my ancestor altar, communicated with my spirit guides, and I had a very good experience while meditating. I really think I should do a video on meditation one of these days. I have to admit, I don't have the opportunity of meditating every single day, but every time I do have that opportunity, I'm not disappointed, you know? I really had a very special moment today and I feel renewed, I feel joyous, I feel... You know, I can't, I can't even put it into words. I really feel 
very positive about it. So I just want to say one thing. People who tell you to be afraid of spirits, don't listen to them. I was taught to be afraid of spirits all my life and now I am discovering that things aren't exactly the way people tell us. One of the most rewarding things to do is to like reach out to the spirit world and little by little start getting responses. For example, there is this great grandma that every time I contact her, there is knocking. I'm like, I open the door, not knocking on the door, but like on the other side of that door. <laughs> I open it, I look around and there's nothing that could possibly be making that sound. So I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, I get your grandma. <laughs> Don't believe in people who are afraid of spirits, okay? Because their beliefs come from misinformation, basically. Now, it's like 3 p.m. Yeah, 3 p.m. I gotta grab my backpack, get some water first get my backpack, get my bike and get going because the cemetery has a time to close. It's around uh, 5.30, 6.30, something like that. So I don't really have all the time in the world. I'm gonna get going now and I hope I can get some nice shots of, I don't know, of the path. Maybe, I hope. <laughs> Let's go. So I have arrived at my local cemetery. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit rainy. Nothing too extreme. It's manageable. I have decided to adopt two graves for the time being. I already dropped by the first one and now I'm headed to the second, which is right here to my left. Because it's a European cemetery, there's a lot of soldiers and war uh, veterans in here both from France and from Germany and from several other nationalities. I really like the cemetery because it's always empty but it's not too small so I have like privacy to go around and just hang out without the, the worry that somebody is going to see me and think I'm weird as fuck. <laughs> and another thing that is a super highlight, unfortunately today I was unable to spot them, but there are some cats that live here and they are the sweetest cats in the world. They are such lovely cats. <laughs> and another very cool thing is that there's water fountains in here and we can grab watering cans. It becomes very easy to water plants that are on the graves or even to do some gardening on our own. And as a matter of fact, I am planning of bringing some seeds and plant them. I'm gonna go hang out by my second adopted grave and I'm not gonna show that because it's kind of personal but once I'm done with that I'm just gonna sit down somewhere because it's a little bit wet I think I'm gonna take another bench there's a very nice one all the way to the back and I think I'm gonna do some embroidery or reading over there once I sit down I'm gonna show you and yeah, it doesn't stop raining, does it? <laughs> so I did what I had to do and I am sitting over here on this bench. I planned on embroidering a little bit, but the rain continues. Over here I am covered by this tree and there's also a little bit of a ceiling. Um, this is um, the part of, of the cemetery where they keep ashes. So it, it is covered and I'm a little bit covered here, but as a matter of fact, with the rain and everything, 
I am getting the feeling of going back home, not going to the woods this time. I don't know, I'm just getting this hunch, this gut feeling that I should just go home and call it a day. It doesn't stop raining, so I don't think I'm gonna have a good time at the woods. And some people, just before I close the, the, the vlog here, some people might ask themselves why visit cemeteries. Well, I think that us as a society, as individual people, we don't acknowledge death enough. We live as though we would be alive forever, as well as everybody we know, but that's not true. And every time I take a walk at a cemetery, I'm reminded that it doesn't matter how big your life was, how successful you were, how much money you had, at the end, we're gonna go to the same place, whatever that place is. On the physical uh, plane, it is the graveyard, the cemetery, yes, it is. But what I'm trying to say is that Especially with the soldiers that are buried here, the ones who died for France. Some people here, they did such important things. There are doctors, politicians, there are all types of people here. There are immigrants, there are uh, like the regular French citizen. Yes, you can find everything here. And I can't help thinking that each one of them were people with lives and stories and struggles. They loved, they laughed, they had feelings, they had problems, they left, I think, little legacies for their families and the memory that someday they existed, but that's it. Nobody else knows they existed and the things they did and their names and what they wanted for themselves, what they believed in. So the point being that life is so short, passes so fast, and after we're gone, what is going to be left of us, you know? Not much. <laughs> so we, we gotta make it count at least for ourselves, personally. We gotta make it count. I'm gonna get my bike and get going back home. Do some embroidery where it's not raining. <laughs> if this video was somehow entertaining or useful to you, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more, <laughs> and I can't wait to see you in my next video, okay? Have a marvelous rest of your day. Make sure to make it count before it's too late. And remember, practice makes perfect. So let's get witching.